Hello there YouTube, I am here with one simple task. Well, it's not really that simple, but I'll try and make it as simple as possible. Which is, teach you the game engine Unity in combination with World of Warcraft to allow you to make your own games in the future, hopefully one day, possibly. So the free programs you will need are here. World of Warcraft Model Viewer, which is free. Unity, which is also free. And Machinima Studio, which is free, but for the features we are going to use, you do need to buy the full version. I think it's 30 euros, I can't remember. Uh, it is possible to do what we're doing with WoW Model Viewer, but I'm going to focus on using Machinima Studio as it's far more powerful, easier, and more intuitive to use. So the first thing we do is load up Unity. Uh, I'm going to show you the basics of Unity. This is the scene where we place all, all our objects. So whenever you have an object that you want to place into the game world, this is where you place it. Then game is, uh, from the main camera's point of view, the main camera is right there as you see, is what you see like a, like a short preview. It's not going to move, it's going to be static, but it, it just shows you how the effect will look before you press play. The hierarchy, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, I'm sorry, is uh, where all your stuff in the current scene is placed. And the project is everything that you can use throughout all your scenes, levels, etc, etc. To navigate in the scene view, you press and hold down the right mouse button to pan. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, use the left mouse key to highlight many objects at once. And press down and hold the zoom button to move around the level. It's very simple, very intuitive. It doesn't take much to get used to. So right, we have Unity. I have already imported some stuff from Machinima Studio. I have imported a farm, a house with two floors, a lumber mill, a prison tower, and a stable. Uh, and Guildhouse A. Now I want to show you guys how to import Guildhouse B. So if we minimize Unity, open up Machinima Studio. Uh, now, just, okay, there you'll get to choose the game you want to use. I'm obviously going to choose World of Warcraft because that's what we're working with, load plugin. Uh, it's going to ask you to select the where you want to load it from because you might have many different WoW versions installed or whatever. I'm going to choose my English version. Now, Machinima Studio is a program that drains a lot of CPU. It really, really sucks up, uh, you know, pretty much all the juice your computer has. So I don't recommend running it with many programs at once. I hope Unity and Fraps and Machinima Studio doesn't make it crash. My computer isn't necessarily weak, but this program, you know, uh, isn't made by a professional AAA studio, so it has its bugs, it has its moments. So yeah. Okay, so this is Machinima Studio, it has all the audio models, textures, world maps, and world object models from World of Warcraft for you to use in whatever way you want. Since uh, we have Guildhouse A, let's type into the search bar, Guild, oops, Guildhouse, I'll just type in Guild actually. All files, we want models, we don't want anything else, press search. Uh, models, there we go, see, WMO usually means buildings and stuff like that. We have Guildhouse A, so let's go to Guildhouse B, and you want the WMO file, not the 00, not the 001, not the 002, because those are different, oh, you, you'll see what I mean. Double click it, and you will load up the whole Guildhouse. There you go, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, what I meant to say earlier about the 000, 000, 001 is because every single building in WoW is made up of a few parts. So if I disable 000 now, you will see that the entire outside disappears. The same with 001 and 002, there's different parts of the inside and outside. So this is the model we're going to essentially try and import into Unity. It also has doodads. Doodads are all the items you see in WoW. So if I click render, this will take a second. It's stuff like barrels, you know, things that hang around, there, etc, etc. There you go. There's some barrels now, there's some boxes, there's some crates, just general stuff in WoW that you interact with. Um, so yeah, I'm just checking because oftentimes... Machinima Studio, what it does is it, it renders the doodads for every single variation of the model, which means that, for example, you know, if you have a simple house, say, uh, in WoW there's like 20 different of these houses, right? They all use the same outside model, but inside they're all different. And Machinima Studio, unfortunately, loads all these doodads all, all at once. But I think it looks okay here. There's no issues. So what we do now is click Export up here. And now we want to use the Wavefront exporter. We don't want to use Milkshape or FBX. FBX is for animations, and I'm not going to cover that in this episode. We want to select all three group files, as I said, because it's the outside, inside, and other inside. And we also want to export doodads, which are all these items. 
we click export model this will take us to uh, the working folder you set when you first start up Machinima Studio Guildhouse B call it Guildhouse B press save it will now export one after one and then we can work on it with Unity thank you very much uh, I don't recommend closing Machinima Studio we're still going to be using it you'll see why so now when we open up Unity, there's a little button here called Assets, and Assets are everything that your game uses, you know? Uh, so like all of the stuff it needs to run. And we go to our Guildhouse B, which we just exported, and you can see all the different textures, which are the images, and these files are the actual 3D models on which we apply the textures. Unfortunately, this really sucks, you can't import them like several at once, you can't highlight several at once, you have to do it one by one. So let's just say I import Guildhouse B000, and you hear, you see here a little preview. It's the outside, right? And uh, it imported into the Guildhouse A folder, which is bad, so let's create a new folder outside called Guildhouse B. Guildhouse B. Why are you still in the Guildhouse A folder? I don't like that. Get out of there. Get a, oh, it's lagging because of fraps, isn't it? Let's move the Guildhouse B folder out. I hope you can do that. Yes, you can. Of course you can. Okay, so now when we close... What the hell, Guildhouse B? What the hell? If it doesn't work, I'll just... Okay, fine. Uh, let's just find the Guildhouse B we exported then and move it into Guildhouse B folder. It just makes it easier to find stuff later, trust me. So now that we have it here... Uh, we can move it right into our scene. It's quite a big. It's quite a big thing. And now the essential thing is we'll always be using position zero zero zero, which is in the middle, and I'll tell you why that is later. But yeah, there we go. There's our three D object. I think we might want to move the main camera a bit so we see more in the game view. You know, just click on it, select it, move the arrows. As easy as that. Okay, so there we go. And now, the thing is, you don't want to apply textures in here, not in the hierarchy. Because if you click this little arrow, it shows you all the different parts this model is made up of, right? Because it's not one huge model, it's individual parts which all need their own separate textures. And if you apply it here, whenever you want to reuse this object, you will have to reapply all the textures. Because you're only applying it to this instance, instead of applying it to the overall object in your project folder. So let's expand it here as well. And uh, when we select the first part here, we see a little preview. We can try and guess what it is. We can uh, click it here and if we press F, it will zoom in on that object, allowing us to, you know, see it better. So it's all this part, it's this part. And now this is why we kept Machinima Studio open because, let's just deselect uh, the inner two. We don't want them, we just want the outside. Uh, this allows us to try and find what we're looking for. Here, see? It's this part that was highlighted. So we can try and guess what texture this is. I already imported uh, textures from other Alliance buildings, but uh, okay, for you guys. It, I'm guessing it's this texture. So I'll load up this texture, and then I'll select the Guildhouse B000, which is this part as we saw just a second ago in Machinima Studio select the texture we want these are all the textures I have already loaded scroll down to the one we want which is this one I guess or is it this one? No, it's this one and if you're not sure which texture it is it is this one you can see it you can try and find it it's this one but it's uh, selecting the tick boxes and this will unload load the textures and then if you right click on it and click edit appearance it will show you the texture you want and also give you the option to save it in some other place so you can be sure that you're using the correct one. Since we're sure we can continue on to Guildhouse B0001. We don't know where it is so let's click here. There we go. It's all these parts. Alt tab into Machinima Studio. You see this is the texture that belongs there. So 001 sometimes you can guess just from the preview by rotating it Select the texture, scroll down to all the walls we have. Is it this one? Let's see, Machinima Studio. Yep, that, that looks pretty good to me. So now let's go to the next one. 0010, which is here, and that's the floor, right? So in Machinima Studio, let's look, 
take a look at the floor. It's this texture here. I'm not sure if I imported all of them because all buildings are different, obviously, but I think I should have it. We can type in search. No, it's not called rocks. Of course not. That'll be too easy, right? What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Where are you? I'm sure I've seen that texture before. Ah, there we go. MM Stormwind Wall. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yep. It's a bit at a different angle, rotation-wise, I think. Well, let's make sure, to be honest. Now you have to click three times to load it up every time, but I'm not bothered. I bet it's going to be the last one. It always is, just to annoy me. Nope, it's this one. Edit Appearance. There we go. It's this texture we want. So let's go back into Unity, Assets, Import New Asset. It will automatically open the folder you, you last used, which is Guildhouse B. And this is what we actually want, MM Street 2 So let's go back to our Guildhouse B, 0010, and change that into MM, up in the top just to make it faster, Street 2 There you go, looks far better now. 11, what's 11? It looks like the part outside the door here. Am I correct? Oh yes, I win a cookie. Okay, uh, since I'm not sure what that is either, let's go back into close, close, mission of my studio. And it's, uh, come on, load all the previous files, which I unloaded accidentally or on purpose. Okay. Okay, so the entrance file looks like this. And I think the texture for that is this one here. You don't have to be 100% exact. Oh, is it the banner? Oh, it is the banner. Okay. You don't have to be 100% exact, but if you're really looking into the fine details, then you probably want to apply all the correct, correct textures, you know, make sure that it looks 100% like it does in WoW. But most people won't even notice because they'll be busy playing your game. But it's the love for the details, folks. Right, is it this one? Yep. And there we go, we have a nice little banner. Now, I'm not going to go on to applying all the textures. I'm going to show you guys what I mentioned before about uh, the position here and about making a prefab, which will save your life. So let's go into Assets, import the other parts of the building, so Guildhouse B models. Now, these are all the doodads, as you can see here. Some of them are textual already because I have them applied. And now if we move this into the scene, it will end up being in some random place, we have no idea where. So change the position to 0, 0, 0, and you will be sure that they are in the correct position. As you see, the barrels are placed where they should be. It's all good. It's all happy. Import new asset, Guildhouse B001. Once again, move it, it will end up being in a random place, and you want to be precise, so 0, 0, 0. And now you're sure that it's in the correct place, as you can see for the tiny hole there. That's what she said. Import new asset, models. Uh, and you obviously have to texture all these, which takes uh, a lot of time, a lot of work. But I'm just speeding this up to show you guys the basics. Uh, zero, zero, zero. Uh, what was the last thing we imported? Okay. It really helps if you have two screens. I do have two screens, I'm not using them because I have no clue how Fraps reacts to that. Oh, that is that is quite a big model, actually. I have no clue how Fraps reacts to two monitors, but having two monitors really helps. You can have Machinima Studio open on one, Unity open on the other. It's all good, it's all good. And now 002 models, which is the last file of the whole Guildhouse B. As you can see, there's a lot of assets there that you all have to texture separately. Have fun with that. Zero, zero, zero. Now, why did I say that zero, zero, zero is so important? This is because you can now do something which Unity calls a prefab, which is extremely useful, and it allows you to essentially have the same configuration you have on here. So let's call this Guild House B, and move it any place you want. So if we select all these models and move them onto Guild House B, which it doesn't let me do right now. Thanks a lot. Why is that? Okay. If we move all these files into the top one, we're basically making them a child, which means that whenever we move this, the other ones move along with it. See? So no longer do I just move the outside, I move the inside, I move the models, etc. 
and now we can move it onto the Guildhouse B prefab. What this does is, if, if I now delete it from the scene, um, usually I would have to move them all one by one, and then uh, position them where I want to. But now I can just move in the prefab that we have previously created, press F to nicely center the camera, and move the whole thing without worrying about it whatsoever. Also scale it, that's huge, zoom out, and everything works fine, it's happy, everything is happy in happy town. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much the basics of uh, moving WoW objects into Unity, and a basic way of applying textures using Machinima Studio, and navigating through Unity. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you have any questions leave them in the comments. If you want any more tutorials, uh, so I can explain to you how to also add other stuff from WoW, such as weapons, characters, animations into Unity, leave a comment, and have a good day!